Time to call crypto investing. Bell notification. Comment down below. Subscribe and share to get that truth and information you've come to expect and uh, require and need from the number one cryptocurrency and blockchain technology here exclusively on YouTube and in the crypto sphere. From Time to call crypto investing, and uh, we got the daily chart of the Bitcoin price in the background. And there's been a lot of things going on in the Bitcoin price. You can see over the daily time frame over the last couple of years. And a quick synopsis, you know, we had this mountain double top with the two peaks, the sun setting in the background onto a horrific, debilitating, crippling multi-year bear market that I say started back here in April of 2021. Some people count the humongous, uh, record-breaking bull mark, bear market rally in Bitcoin history that briefly touched an all-time high as saying in November of 21, about six months later, started the bear market. And then I would say the bear market ended right here when you got back above critical moving averages in 2023. So almost two straight years of bear market action where you had FTX, where you had Celsius, where you had Block, where you had Three Arrows Capital, all these companies misallocating money spreading misinformation, manipulating the market, just like the criminal gangsters have orchestrated and executed flawlessly a specific plan to fleece, heist, and shist the retail trader and walk away with all the fucking money. It's not a standard market. It's not a normal market. The crypto sphere, unfortunately, with all the good that it does, all the potential that it has, and all the all the avenues and ways it has to change people's lives for the better. Uh, there's a lot of felonious activity that takes place in there for these big wigs, these one percenters, and these insiders to walk away with all the fucking money, right? But that's what we're here to do on a gorgeous, sunny, mid-March 2024 in the greater Bloomington metropolitan area in central Illinois. This is Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing. You can see the beautiful sun outside here at Camp Rivion. And we're going to get into a little bit of the news here in just one second as we continue to keep you out ahead of this ever changing market that is criminally manipulated to keep the house or the insiders with a tactical and strategic advantage over the retail trader to walk away with all their fucking money. And you can see in some of the news here, you're going to have to bear with me as we're doing it on here and trying to do multiple things. You can see institutional investors piled into Bitcoin in 2023 and flows into institutional crypto products tagged at 2.25 billion. That's billion with a B, not millions, not thousands, not hundreds and not dollars, but 2.25, two and a quarter billion dollars. Institutional investors loaded up on crypto last year with traders betting big on Bitcoin. And investors accumulated two and a quarter million do billion dollars worth of crypto assets via institutional products during 2023, equaling 2.7 times that of 2022, according to CoinShares latest digital asset fund flows. The value of assets under management reached $51 billion, up 129% year over year. Institutional, I, we just went over that, 129% increase year over year. The figure was also bolstered by the rising cryptocurrency price and Ether gains of 80% and Bitcoin 160%, um, respectively, right? Solano and Bitcoin favored by institutions. The report compiled by James Butterfield, head of research for CoinShares, institutional investors assets during quarter four with more than 1.5 billion inflows. BTC changed hands for nearly 43,900 according to CoinGeek. Bitcoin market cap is 859 billion, bolstering 49% dominance over the $1.7 trillion combined crypto market. Uh, and that's very important. And these are things that are gonna continue to happen with this life changing opportunities. But you have to understand what's going on. And we've had this huge orgasmic blow off run here 
ever since the capitulation, local capitulation law of uh, November of 2022, we've had nearly a three times, a threefold increase in price. The Bitcoin's reached an all time high. And now the question is, do we shoot straight up to the next level and tag 100,000? Or is everybody so bullish now? All the longs are in, all the shorts have been squeezed out. The enthusiasm and orgasmic feeling of this pump is uh, overwhelming. And do we need to come down? And if we do need to come down, what I'm trying to tell you here is your first underneath support is over here at this major uh, line that just so happens to coincide with an uptrending rising channel is 58,752.41 cents, which was the double top mean support, not the highs from the double top of the mean where they both topped out at. That's your, and it coincides beautifully with this upper support of this rising channel. And if you break down through there, you're going to fall through the moving averages and end up on this uptrending support, uh, depending on when you hit it, between 41,500 and if you hit it in April to 45,000, right? That's a big drop, big consolidation, big correction, big profit taking, and to swing out and force out and squeeze and liquidate the day traders, the swing traders, and the piles on in the retail market with a manipulated push to the downside to just quickly return back to the upside. And these are some of the things that we keep you out ahead of with this uh, manipulated market here. You can see with the XLM is the same thing. We have this double top. We had a big pump last, uh, last year back here, and we ran up and tagged it, flushed, and look how quickly you flush, you know, 30 40%, and then you quickly tag a moving average and re-pump and then get all these shorts, people trying to long, then they get long squeezed, and they really quick turn around and short and try to catch the train, and it flips back on them, and now they bought long and got forced out, then they shorted and got liquidated, and then they try to go back long, just start to quick profit, and then it dumps 25%, and now they've been forced out six ways from Sunday in the ass, through the vagina and out the nostrils and nose, because they just have no clue what's going on in this manipulated market. But this is your underneath support now at 13 cents. If you break that, you're coming back down to 10 cents, an area that you haven't been since February of 24, and then October of 23. This was a major area of support and resistance. And then uh, a little bit of the XRP. We need to hit that XRP real quick, and then I am working, even though it's a Saturday. Business must be conducted. Uh, let's go into the XRP. What happened to the XRP? I don't know what's going on here. Watch list, the XRP, get back in here. And the XRP is the same thing. It hasn't had as big of a pump, but it's been in this rising channel. We went over this extensively coming off of the local capitulation at the end of the crypto bear market of two years. And then we've been in this rising channel where we've had upper support in May of 22, in October of 22, in April of 23, the blow off top last year with the manipulated and orchestrated criminal gangster pump. Pump, pump, and then lower support, 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 support. This rising channel, we just got rejected here recently. Now we're falling back down to the moving averages in the bottom part of that blue trading zone at 57 and a half to 58 cents. If you break that, you're coming back down to this major underneath support of this rising channel. And that's something you need to hold or you retest this critical 37 cent area that we were in for better than a year and a half, right? Like, subscribe, and share, and I'll show you later on today in an exclusive, explosive, educational, and informative video on how to make money in a crypto bar market, in a crypto bull market, during consolidations and profit taking without selling your crypto, without using calls, calls of highly speculative puts that can liquidate you, and most importantly, without selling your stack or using margin in a very, very low risk, but very, very high reward.